So, Kane, walk me through the process, the build-up to you killing your brother, your own flesh and blood. Well, um, we were supposed to bring a sacrifice to God. You know, ever since mom and pops messed up in the garden, life's been really tough, you know, and sin waste of time. So we got to offer up sacrifices to God to ask him to forgive our sins. So, you know, I bring my sacrifice and I bring my crops because I'm a farmer. You know, that's what I do. Now, my brother, Abel, he brings a lamb. He's a shepherd. That's what he do. So, long story short, God accepts Abel's sacrifice, rejects mine. So, how did that make you feel knowing that you offer God your crops, but he refuses it? Well, I was furious. I went and took some of my fruits that I worked hard to cultivate. And God has the nerve to reject it? And then on top of that, ask me why I'm angry? Mm. Let's dive into that a little more. Let's go back to when God notices you're angry and then he asks you, Cain, why are you angry? Walk me through that conversation. Yeah, so he notices I'm angry because... Well, he sees everything, you know, being omniscient and all that. And um, goes on to say that, you know, if I just do right, then he'd accept me. I'm just going to interrupt you right there just so that I can recall the exact quotation of what God said. He said, if you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you. You must rule over it. At the beginning of our session, you mentioned that sin weighs heavy and that your parents made the similar mistake of disobeying God and now you are born into a world that is suffering the consequences of that. And here you are in a similar predicament where God is warning you, do not make the same error. And I'm just curious, what made you, what caused you to not take this solid piece of advice? Because I did do right. I did obey. He asked me for a sacrifice. So I gave him one. Yes, but you did not give him the right sacrifice like your brother did. The only difference is that my brother gave him a lamb and I gave him some fruits. Well, no, your brother gave him his absolute best. Some of the firstborn of his flock. You didn't give God your absolute best. You gave him what you calculated in your own mind to be what God deserved and not what God said he deserved. Well, I don't understand that. Well, I can give you an example of women. Oftentimes, a woman's companion or husband would want to give her a gift and would even go as far to ask her what does she want but instead of doing that he would proceed to get her what he wants that he likes instead of what she would like and then is confused in the end to why she is not very happy about it so in this case God told you what he wanted but instead you gave him what you wanted man look I just thought it was a pretty good gift all right uh-huh so let's go back to after you've had this conversation with God and you have made the decision to now kill your brother because he was accepted and you were not. Talk to me about that. I understand the jealousy, but why such an extreme and drastic response? Yeah, so after God spoke to me about it, it was still bothering me. You know, like I, I couldn't shake it. I know, I know God told me to shake it, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't. So I just figured, you know, like, why should I, why should I be walking around with, with this weighing me down on my shoulders when this is a quick fix? I could just get rid of this, you know? So I hit up my brother. I call him. I say, you know, Abel, like, let's go to the field together, you know, have some bro time. And while we're there, you know, I'm, I'm really hesitating. You know, I'm sincerely hesitating. I'm thinking, man, you know, he really is my little brother. You know, that's my baby brother. And maybe I shouldn't do this but then i just see this man when i look you see this man just smiling and happy walking around just looking blessed like just looking blessed like god just blessing him and, yo, that thing just made me so mad i just took up a stone or something like i don't remember what it was and then bam knocked him out cold when i look that boy was dead god wow um okay uh thank you for your honesty so 
after the murder has taken place, you and God have another conversation. And in this conversation, you say something very interesting that I believe will become a very iconic statement that will roll throughout human history. You ask the question, am I my brother's keeper? Mm -hmm. My sources have been gracious enough to give me actual footage of this encounter. Let's watch this together. Cain, where is your brother Abel? I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? What have you done, Cain? Your brother's innocent blood is crying out to me from the ground. I can hear it. Now you are under a curse. Now you are forced to be in exile. And when you work the ground, it will no longer yield its crops for you. No, God, please, look, that... This punishment is too hard for me to bear. You are removing me from my homeland and then removing me from your presence? I'll be helpless out there. Anybody who sees me is gonna kill me. Not so. Anyone who kills Cain will suffer seven times more. I could promise you that. I'm gonna put a mark on you so that way anyone who sees you, they will not kill you. Now leave. Mm. So how does that make you feel? Knowing that even after you killed your brother who is innocent, that God was still merciful to you and offered you his protection. Ooh, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. This man, he's just so good. He's just so merciful. Like, I don't even know what to say. I don't even, I didn't deserve that. I don't deserve to be here. Man, I don't even know, man. Just, what's my diagnosis, doc? So what, what, what's my diagnosis? I'm, what am I, a, psych a psychopath? A sociopath? Just lay it on me, doc. I can take it. Honestly, I'm not even a real psychologist. I'm just trying to figure out what the heck is wrong with you.